Police describe it as torture, a mom using a taser on her children to get them to behave. Now a Lincoln Heights mom is in jail and four children were taken from her. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live with how police say they got involved. Tom. Well, Tanya, we're talking about Camila Harris, who tonight is at the Hamilton County Justice Center, child charged with child endangerment. Lincoln Heights police say it's upsetting and frustrating that any parent could even be charged with this kind of conduct. Camila Harris is the mother of children aged 1, 3, 11, and 13, but she can't see them right now. Miss Harris is being accused of child abuse. Lincoln Heights Police Detective Angela Taylor says she opened the case May 8th. That's when a woman near the busy intersection of Shepherd Lane and McIntyre Street found the 11 year old, a boy, wandering around. She asked him why he was out in the street, and he said he didn't want to go home because he was being beaten. When police went to the Harris home on Simmons Avenue, they got more details from the youngster than they expected. He said that he had been hit with extension cords, a pole, and a belt, and that she had also used a taser on him, a handheld stun gun. It's actually a cell phone sized taser that's normally used for personal protection. Actually, they're available everywhere. You can get them at gun shows. Um, I think you can get them at a few sporting goods shops and even a few gun shops. An examination at Cincinnati Children's Hospital revealed the child's story had credibility. They found marks that were consistent with an extension cord, uh, looping marks. Also, uh, they found burn patterns that were ev evenly spaced that could have come from the taser. Detective Taylor says Harris told her she's used a belt for discipline, but nothing more. So how did the taser marks get on the child? She said that he was playing with it. I went to the Harris home trying to get an explanation for what is going on, but nobody was there. Lincoln Heights police are asking the same questions. It's upsetting. It is. I mean, you, there are ways to discipline your children, and that's definitely not one of them. Now, Harris's case next goes to a Hamilton County grand jury. I've also learned that there are two prior contacts with children's services over the past several years, one in 2000, the other in 2005. Tom McKean, not on your side, live downtown.